plots. These are some built-in plots that we can have from R. Again, we are, some, we are creating some data like X is 100 observation, random normal distributed observation. Y is 100 observation, mean 100, and um, standard deviation 15. Then if you just say plot X, you will see a plot here. It doesn't look nice, but when you zoom in, it looks better, right? These are just 100 observation of X. Right? Did it work for you? Now we are running one by one, right? But when we have written all the commands and we want to see all the results, we can just select all of them and click run. Runs all of them. Okay. This is very useful when you are working with revisions. If you are asked for something, you make a little bit change, then select all, run. You get the results. Right? We can do a lot more with plots. This is the by default plot function here you see like type you you type is l and color red it gives you something like that what is what is l line here if you just write here below in the in the console in the console down here if you just write question mark and plot then you will get help here okay there you can see and here you can see actually you can have type as p l b so both points and lines you can also have uh, c for the lines part alone of b whatever you want more or less you can do everything you want okay then you can add some labels vertical axis labels horizontal axis levels, you can modify a lot. I have a question. Yes, please. Does the order of the command matter? Maybe no, 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 it doesn't matter. Doesn't within within the command, doesn't matter. Okay. You can you can move it, you can move it back and forth. No problem. No problem. But maybe let's let's look how it looks like with C. what about B this is one thing with R you know you will have so much flexibility in terms of what you want to do histogram looks like this you can also modify histogram add colors labels all these things you want to do you can have a box plot you can do the same things add colors labels all these things you want to do you may would like to plot two variables so that's when you use this one plot x comma y very easy this is a scatter plot right can we make it a line i'm just going to copy this type from here and put it here it works <laughs> but not the best way i guess <laughs> so here for here i think scatter is fine the scatter plot is fine here Pierce David it will not work now because we have to define David first which I have done later right so we come back to David first okay and maybe then I just copy it and I put it back here if I want to plot David so data frame so the command is data frame create x x will be one to three create y y will be yeah some value and some more value if we run it and then we run david it looks like this we have a variable name and then we have the values and then if we run um mean of david here you see we have something like a dollar symbol, right? Mm -hmm. This we use a lot uh, in all analysis. So you have a huge data set, but you pick one variable. Dollar symbol, the variable name, picks the variable, okay? So mean of x, 
we get from here. David is the data name, data file name, and we pick X. Standard deviation of X, okay. Pair of, pairs of David. It will give us a pairwise scatter plot, right? You can use this to get correlation matrix among different variables, okay? Pairwise correlation. How, how to read this? We see very linear relationship, all the cases. So this is variable x. This is the correlation between variable x and y. This is the correlation between variable x and z. Right? This is the correlation between y and z. Awesome. It's only three observations. That's why it's so plain. But when you have real data, it looks really cool.